We've seen a reduction in motor vehicles too, but there is maybe a little bit of concern that that is starting to rise again, uh, ever so slowly, but that's um, really important that we think about that. And on the next slide, this is a, a new slide, uh, which takes data from Apple, from Apple Maps, from people uh, seeking directions or asking for directions uh, in Apple uh, Maps. And this is a seven day work. Well, again, the, uh, as Dr. Fauci said, it is really incredible that in such a short time, we're already testing a vaccine in humans. We're already in phase one testing vaccines in humans. And there are three vaccines, which is, you know, testing in animals and in cells into the clinical arena. So this has gone very fast. Now we need to complete phase one. We need to be sure the vaccine is safe and it's also immunogenic. And then will the vaccine right now is, is it just expanded in its range to now involve older individuals. Initially, the vaccine just covered people between the age of 18 and 55. Now it's enrolling people over the age of 55 because a lot of the severe disease happens in older individuals. And after that, we're going to move into phase two. And phase two is going to require to enroll four to five thousand people around the world. And that's the efficacy phase. That's when you see the vaccine truly protects. And if that goes well, Yes, I'm very encouraged. We may have a useful vaccine in somewhere around, you know, 12 to 18 months. Okay. Now, okay. once we have the vaccine, we still need to produce vaccines for millions and millions of people. O seu projeto libertador e a atualidade dos seus valores e dos seus ideais de liberdade e emancipação social. Fuck you. They put together unusual stalagmite structures. A striped hyena have chosen to lay down in some dappled light until it gets a bit cooler. It's a siesta in the shade for this family. Out on the plains, a giraffe. Judge Bill and Wayne has got the warrant. Costa and Edwards will pick up El Biero and we'll bag Hackman. Nobody knows where Barkley is. Well, let's not let Hackman get itchy feet. Hey, Sonny. Yeah? The good guy is one for once. Yeah, for once. <laughs> No problem. We'll be finished with the paperwork by five. Sonny told me they've already got a sitter. You expecting someone? Executed on Friday. I didn't kill Frank. Frank Hackman blew away my partner in front of his wife and kids, and he deserves to get whatever's coming to him. I'm telling you this so now or later. You ought not to feel any guilt. That's kind of ironic, don't you think? I go out for one I didn't do. The man's about to watch his last sunset, Gus. Did he kill him? It was with me and Daytona. Frank was a maggot. 
been one step out of the chair his entire life. Look, I was the cop that arrested him. You didn't put me. I want you to know there'll come a time when you'll ask for forgiveness and make your peace with God. I want you to remember that I don't hold you accountable. What's it going to take to reopen? It's not going to happen. What's it going to take? Two corroborating witnesses. What do you want to know? That's better. Who killed Frankel? A button man from Buffalo. DeSantis. Yeah. Everybody knew that Frankel was a cop. A lot of people wanted him hit. So Hackman was with you in Daytona? Yeah. Me and Alviero. Governor, Miami Vice. We have depositions that will exonerate Frank Hackman. Thanks, Frank. Just doing my job. Like I knew you would. Maybe you can use it. Just a, a quick update here on the Lowy TV. I have already replaced all the film caps that needed replacing. There are not many of them. Here are, sorry, here are the old ones. These are known to be unreliable this one not this one is actually exploded and we had a pretty toasted resistor although tested okay I replaced it anyway three were replaced in here Another one here, another one, another two here on the bottom, and I think, oh yeah, over here on the high voltage cage, See those two orange caps parallel together. They are there to replace the boost filter cap. And uh, the set works absolutely perfect. Oh, and I have restuffed the electrolytic cans 
all three of them. I'm still waiting for the small lateralitic caps. These guys right here, this one, that one right there, and this one right here. Uh, this set was really easy to restore slash repair. It didn't have any problems. Uh, it worked right off the bat, so this is just preventive maintenance. Uh, oh, and I also replaced this guy. This is a vintage cap. It's not a new part, but it's good. We have here a broken VDR resistor. That's okay. That's for that's for stabilizing the the picture height. Uh, but uh, it works perfectly without it. So I can't find a replacement, and modern components are not suitable for that application. You really cannot replace a, an old style VDR with anything modern. Sometimes you can use a Zener diode, but in this case, it's not suitable. So yeah, it's it's almost ready. It's working perfectly. I did not have to do any sort of diagnosis on this one. It was just a matter of plugging it in, testing it, and doing some preventive maintenance. Here is the resistor that was smoking smoked it's another replacement cap right there another here and another one there this big thing is actually a diode uh, i typed in the, the part number and i cannot find any information on that i don't know if it's selenium but uh, i bet it's selenium because of the huge size uh, it, it appears to be working, so I did not mess with it. Uh, I told you that I restuffed all three lateralytics, but it's not true. I restuffed this one and this one. This one I haven't restuffed yet because I'm waiting for 100 microfarad 450 volt caps. And as you can see, I kept the original lugs and I have an extra wire which is ground. Because you cannot solder to the aluminum, so you can't solder the, the ground wire to the aluminum can of the cap. So I just put in the, an extra ground wire soldered here to the chassis. I dusted off, cleaned it, put the dial string back on, which was a pain. And what can I say? Well, I can show you the front. I can show you the set working, which I will do. And I think what we'll, we are going to do now, because this is such a short video, is uh, maybe I will test some of those caps on the heat kit leakage tester. Just see how bad or how good they are. Okay, so this is the one that exploded. Shorted. We are on 15 volts. Of course, it's shorted. Well, it's good at 6 volts. But if we go to 10 volts, yeah, so no surprise here. Discharge. Now we have a different type, but this one unfortunately has the lead broken off, not sure if I'll be able to test it, wait a minute, yeah, no. can't grab it. The moment. Okay, so I am uh, on six volts and it's shorted. Yeah, although 
Although physically it looked good, but it's totally shorted. How about this one? Arrow 100. 4700 picofarad. It's 4.7 nanofarad. I bet that's bad too. This is a 500 volt one. Yeah, shorted, 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 shorted. So on 3 volts, it's good. 6 volts, it's marginal. 10 volts, completely shorted. Although, uh, although these caps, most of them are really bad, none of them was preventing the, the set from working, so... Sometimes it's not just a matter of replacing caps, but... This is, again, this is preventive maintenance. That's what it is. It's just closing up the set, putting the back cover on it, and avoiding future problems. On the first video we talked about this contraption right here, which is four resistors in parallel. It appears it's 56k, three 56k in parallel, and this is here to feed the UHF tuner. This UHF tuner is a replacement, and so they put some resistors to correct the voltage for that tuner that's why I left them there they work the tuner works and it's part of the history of the set there's nothing wrong with that I could I could replace those with a single resistor but yeah they are it's not pretty to have four resistors in parallel but they are soldered well they're, there's there's no problem with that so I'm just gonna leave them there